Holly, is that what we've got oh, here, a division between the... Hypocrisy is thy name, Matt. Hypocrisy is thy name, Matt. You went to an election with a pledge for $275 to come off power bills over 100 times committed to by now Prime Minister Albanese. He promised, along with many of your Cabinet colleagues, that there would be no changes to the Stage 3 tax cuts, that... Albanese had a clear plan for cheaper mortgages. How many lies can this Labor government tell? We are not the government, Matt. You are. May budget is not an election date. The policies will be out before the election. But that you can even say that with a straight face, with the number of lies told by Albanese okay. both before the wanna, election and since. Can I just cut in there? Because I, I just want to get to the news poll stuff. So, Matt, a fall in support for Labor in resolve and steady in news poll, roughly. What does this say about the defence announcement that we had last week? Well, I think the defence announcement last week uh, it demonstrates the government's commitment to keeping Australians safe. It's a $50 billion increase in defence expenditure, taking defence expenditure to 2.4% of GDP. Um, the great new capability that will come online, particularly um, in the nuclear-propelled submarine space, um, and as well as the new surface combatant fleet um, and some great capability around long-range fires. Um, so this is all delivering on the recommendations of the Defence Strategic Review. Uh, but we always say that, you know, in the course of an election cycle, Kenny, um, polls will go up, polls will go down. What's important is the policy offerings at the end of the day of the two major parties when it comes to an election campaign. And Labor's focus has been on cost of living relief, uh, on renewable energy, on additional defence spending. Um, I still don't know what the coalition's cost of living policies are. Perhaps, perhaps Ollie can tell us today, um, but I think it's the comparison of the policy offerings that's important when we get to, closer to an election. OK, Holly, we've got 30 seconds. Just a quick response from you before we go. Well, we've got 57,000 people more unemployed than we had last year. We're now seeing record number of business closures. This is all being put back to Albanese on the fact that energy costs are spiralling out of control. I can tell you what the Coalition will do. We'll ensure that business has surety when it comes to what it means to employ a casual when we won't allow union officials to do as much union work as any other work on a mine site and we'll give businesses the ability to get back doing what they do best rather than dealing with more and more red tape put in place and in front of them by this government. Better leave it there. Holly Hughes and Matt Thistlethwaite, thanks so much for your time this morning. Have a great day. Thanks, Kenny. Thanks, Matt. See you, Kenny.